Okay, so I'm just getting all packed and ready to go out to my local forest and test out these brand new X5 microphone wireless systems. You may have seen my demo last year of my X5 U2 wireless system for guitar. I was so impressed with these and um, here you go, let's have a little look at them. I'll put a link in the top corner here to the video showing you these. I did a similar kind of thing where I was in the forest and see how far I could go and they were awesome. So let's go through what I've got. So of course I've got the two X5 wireless systems. So these are microphone wireless systems. This one's the U3 and this one is the U3C. The difference is that the U3C actually can handle your condenser microphones or anything that needs phantom power. So that is awesome. So what does it say on the back here? So it provides 12 volt or 48 volts phantom power to the condenser microphone. So I've got my condenser SE Electronics SE2200, which I use to record a lot of my acoustic stuff. So we're gonna test that out. Also, I've got here my V7 microphone by SE Electronics. This will be for vocals. So let me turn this camera around. So the idea is with this test is I just see how far I can walk and whether it still maintains the signal. I'm gonna be outside as well, so there's gonna be other interferences, see how well that handles it. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, I've got with me uh, my guitar stand and an acoustic. I'm obviously a face guitar artist, but I'm refusing to bring it outside, it's gonna rain, so I've got my cheap Enya guitar in there. I've also got my laptop, which is all ready with Logic Pro X and I've got my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface to capture these bad boys. So these are super light, check them out. So you plug your transmitter into your microphone like this, very easy, it's super light. And then you wanna put your receiver into your door. Yeah, it's hard to do this one-handed. Or you can put it into your mixing desk if you're um, playing live. So there we go, and it should be connected up. Looking for a chance to break free. I'm falling out of love. And you leave okay, so we're in a random field near where I live. I've got the microphone. It's a bit windy, so you might hear the microphone cut a little bit, which is a bit annoying, because obviously we're trying to test how good it is from a distance, but I'll try and shield it from the wind as much as I can. So I'm gonna walk 90 feet that way and see how well the microphone handles it. I've got some horses around me, so I've gotta make sure I don't get attacked. So here we go. I'm trying to shield <laughs> from, the <laughs> from the wind, but I should have bought a something with me for that, but never mind. Right, so, I don't even know feet. Do you know feet? How many feet am I away? <laughs> He's nodding, he doesn't know either. So, am I still clear? All right, there's a bit of wind. Let me zoom out, Mark, to let them see how far I am, and then zoom back into my face. Right, I'm gonna sing a song for you. Welcome to the jungle! I'm not gonna sing, that was a bad choice. So I think I'm around 90 feet, maybe more actually, and uh, supposedly my brother's saying it's clear. Okay, off we go. <laughs> this is a bit interesting if anyone's watching.
I'm going to slowly move away from the horse. Smokes, we run away. <laughs> let's go, let's go, run, 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 run. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just got back from filming the X5 U3 system, wireless microphone system, and it was pretty cool. So while we were filming a horse and its calf. Yeah. <laughs> we worked out. <laughs> I said to my brother, what's a baby horse? <laughs> anyway, so I was singing Wonderwall just to test one of the uh, systems. So I test, I think it was the uh, U3C, which actually can power a condenser microphone because it's got phantom power. So I decided to do a bit of singing. I'm not the best singer in the world, but I sung Wonderwall and crazy enough the horses come over it seemed to, oh, <laughs> it seemed to, to come over and listen to me sing or they came over to kind of make me stop but it was pretty awesome so i thought i'd also do a quick test with the u3c on my condenser mic in a controlled environment so you can hear the sound of it Let's try a lead and see if there's much difference. <laughs> I'm trying to plug in a guitar lead to the microphone. Good. Okay, let's try that again, but with an XLR cable. So as you heard, there's not much difference at all. There's no latency that you can hear really, and they both sound awesome. So if you're looking for a really good wireless device, I highly recommend checking out the X5. Okay, next up, we're gonna test the U3 X5 microphone wireless system, and this is gonna be used on my dynamic microphone. This is the SC Electronics V7X. So we're gonna use this 
to mic up my amp, which is a Fender. What is my amp? It's a Fender Hot Rod DeVille. And I'm gonna be using my Gibson Epiphone 355 kind of model with modified trim. This is my uncle's old guitar. I've had it for a few years. Don't often use it, but we're gonna play through that. So we want to put the transmitter into the microphone. Uh, put it the right way. There we go. And then come with me. We're gonna put it onto my microphone stand. Uh, and then I think the microphone's down there. Let's put it just off center. So that's all set up. So we want to now put the receiver into this. So there we go. And now we need to set up my door. So for a double whammy test, I'm gonna be using the X5 U2 transmitter. Hopefully that comes up. And I'm connecting my guitars to my amp using this. So we're gonna be using wireless system for the microphones and for the guitar. So once again, with the uh, transmitter, we want to put that into the guitar. So boom, and then we can just switch that on quite easily. We won't do that just yet. And then come with me once again. We wanna put the receiver into the input. Get all this out of the way. So you put your receiver into the input. So let's get this on. Okay, so I've got my guitar plugged in wirelessly and I've got the microphone plugged in wirelessly. Everything is wireless. As you'll hear, there's no delay and it sounds awesome. So first of all, let me turn off the amp from standby. Might hear a bit of sound now. And here's some clean sounds for you guys. So as you can hear, there's not really any delay whatsoever between the wireless systems. They both sound great. Okay, so I suppose the only thing left to do now is to combine all three of these wireless systems. I'll use the guitar wireless system, the uh, U3C for my condenser microphone, the U3 for my other dynamic microphone. Let's do it! Okay, so we've got two X5 transmitters going from my microphones. The first one's coming from my condenser microphone. And the second one is coming from this microphone here, my dynamic one. And the signal's being sent over here to the receivers in my audio interface. And finally, we have, oh God, I'm tired. My um, wireless guitar system here. And finally, we have my guitar wireless system here and this has been transmitted to my amp over here. So we're fully wireless. We're looking at 
the X5 wireless systems I've got three of them here with me today On my condenser microphone we have the U3C It has phantom power, 48 volts or 12 volts you see So you can power your condenser microphones Wirelessly and easily Up next we've got the U-Free wireless system I'm using this on my Fender Hot Rod DeVille amp And it's getting the sound you can hear Next up then thirdly along We have the U2 transmitter Which is plugged into my guitar And then into my amp Everything you're hearing is being performed with a three wireless system. You can move up to 90 feet away and still get a beautiful sound. As you heard earlier, I tested it out in a field, but unfortunately it was really windy and it messed up the microphones. But when I stood still, it was clear. If I could stop the wind getting in my way I'm trying to go too high, I can't sing that high But I'm trying for you here today I highly recommend you check out these wireless systems They're really, really cool They can last from, I think it's three to seven hours Depending on which system you buy But that's pretty damn cool me right key so you should check out the wireless system by x5 Yeah, I'll be